What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA, and yeah, we got some more Netflix news. Man, Netflix ain't wasting time. They know that the heat is on right now. They have to start turning a profit. Their stock is dropping like it's hot. They need to make some money. And what they're going to start doing is they saying, hey, we got to cut losses. We got to start increasing expenditures. And you can see right here, 150 U.S.-based employees just got the axe. Now, nobody likes when people lose work. Least of all me. I know what it's like to be out of work, not have a job, and it's not good. It's bad for everybody that's involved. It's sad for these families. This is 150 families being affected right here. So, you know, it definitely doesn't make somebody like myself happy. But you also got to consider that anytime you work for a company, you know, this is always a possibility. So let's go ahead and check out this article where it's talking about it. Uh, this is on AndroidHeadlines.com. Uh, Netflix fires 150 U.S.-based employees. Um, and it says here that Netflix, I'm going to blow it up just a tad bit. Uh, Netflix has fired around 150 US employees, mostly in the U.S., as per a new report. The streaming giant has been under pressure since it reported losing 200,000 subscribers in the first quarter of 2020. A Netflix spokesman confirmed that this move is a consequence of its poor showing in the first quarter of 2022. As we explained on earnings, our slow revenue growth means we are also having to slow our cost growth as a company. So sadly, we're letting around 150 employees go today, mostly U.S. based. The spokesperson said, yeah, the, it's it's business. It's business. Nothing personal in this regards. It's business. Business is bad. People lose jobs, and that's an unfortunate side effect of when you have a company like Netflix that's really going out of their way to, you know, kind of, you know, produce you know, certain types of content that people disapprove of. And then next thing you know, people are canceling subscriptions. Hey, I'm out of here. I'm not dealing with this no more. I got a family to think about. I don't have to put this in front of them. I'm out of here. I'm pulling the plug on Netflix. Not only that, you have an economy that's just upside down and inside out. Everybody don't know what's going on. So they have to say, hey, you know what? I'm saving money by getting rid of this Netflix subscription service that just hiked up its prices this year. Remember, Netflix, I remember I had Netflix for about 10 bucks a month. And I was like, okay, a lot of people had the $8 uh, package. I had the $10 package because I said, okay, I'll, you know, have a couple of, um, you know, if my kids want to watch it or if I want to watch, you know, we'll have a couple of different IDs that we could use. Well, now I think that same package is like $14. And it's like, okay, you start scratching your head, you know, it's only four more dollars a month, but you start scratching your head and saying, okay, Netflix is going up, the price of milk and eggs and gas and all these things that I need to live are going up. I got to start making some decisions. I think it was very, very questionable. Why did Netflix raise their prices at that particular time? They should have waited to see how things were shaking out before they went and bumped up prices because I guarantee you the second quarter, it ain't going to look much better. All right, but it says here, these changes are primarily driven by business needs rather than individual performance, which is usually the case, which it makes them especially tough as none of us want to say goodbye to great colleagues. Uh, we're working hard to support them through this very difficult transition. I guarantee you these are all probably the new people that we're joining in too. So just always keep that in mind. A lot of these folks probably just got hired within the last year and they're just already being let go. Um, according to Variety, Netflix is pulling the plug on in-development projects such as Wings of Fire plus a couple of kids titles named Anti-Racist Baby and With Kind Regards from Kindergarten. Now that's kind of... That had Andy raised his baby. I don't know what the other two were about, but the anti-racist baby, that probably raised some red flags with folks who were kind of like saying, wait a minute, what's going on? You know, sounds like it's going to be some woke stuff that people are going to be tuning in for. It sounds like maybe somebody came up with some kind of a project to, to, to signal instead of actually entertain people to try to preach to people instead of saying, hey, here's some entertainment. We'll layer the messages way underneath the entertainment so you'll still get your messaging but it seems like this one's just coming bam right in your face message you know and that kind of stuff re does not resonate well with consumers you know people are coming to these platforms to be entertained we can go to cnn to get preached at or we can go to church or we can go to a whole lot of other places where that kind of stuff is acceptable but on netflix hey i just want to sit back and i just want to watch and i just want to be entertained that's what people generally are saying across the country so got anti racist baby yeah we're gonna have to pull the plug on that because yeah i don't know if this uh getting woke stuff is gonna work out for our bottom line um says here however however Variety quotes sources claiming these titles were canceled due to creative differences and not to cut costs. We'll see. 
maybe and, and you know creative differences yeah that could definitely be possible um last month the company terminated employees belonging to the writing and editing team of tudum tudum i think it's pronounced tudum like the sound effect uh the netflix fan the netflix run fan website it's been a rough couple of months for netflix employees news of diminishing subscribers has certainly impacted the majority of its re decisions including the termination of staff uh the company updated its cultural page earlier this month suggesting it may not be the ideal workplace for everyone yeah everything's ain't for everybody right i always say that uh, every everywhere i go everything ain't for everybody depending on your role you may need to work on titles you perceive to be harmful if you find it hard to support our content breadth netflix may not be the best place for you <laughs> it came right out hey guess what you know what we are going to be doing this we're going to be doing that if you are not on board with that you know you can go right outside here outside the building there's like nice little rocks and you know chet hanks will tell you what you can do to them rocks social justice warriors can kick rocks mm. kick them because we're not changing up our business profile just for a couple of like you know mouthy employees that's just not happening and yeah that kind of stuff is what netflix probably needed to be doing all along hey dave chappelle makes a lot of money for netflix hey folks you don't like dave chappelle we understand you don't like dave chappelle maybe met working at netflix maybe not be for you you know this is might not be the business you need to be involved in so you might need to go outside and find somewhere else to work if you're not happy with what we're doing now i don't think that everything has to be such a hard line i do believe that yeah it depends on what you're dealing with over there at your job if it is that much of an impact on you you might need to step off and go find somewhere else to work but most people should be able to just say like okay you know i work in this particular environment you know everything is not going to be suitable for me i'm not going to enjoy everything that i see coming through these doors but guess what you know we live in a world if you want to be you know this accepting world you have to accept all kinds of forms of different opinions and try to look at everything in a positive light that's what i do i try to say okay everybody's got opinions i'm gonna listen to everybody's opinions i'm gonna have my own opinion about it and i may not like your opinion but i accept that you have the right to have that opinion at it you know see how it works out for you that's how i always look at it. hey we'll see how your opinion does for you because opinions are just a philosophy of life you know and my philosophy your philosophy who's got the better philosophy all depends you know all depends on what i think and what i want and what my outcomes will be but in anyway that'll do it for that netflix looks like they're making some important changes and we'll see how it goes for them we'll see how it goes for these employees we'll see if you know this maybe turns things around you know getting rid of content perhaps that people aren't going to want to watch like anti-racist baby um we're starting to kind of clean up and shore up some of these uh in intercompany issues you know people that don't necessarily agree with what we're doing or you know we're gonna say hey guys you know clean it up knock it off or you know there's them rocks outside all right but that'll do it for me folks i want to thank you for watching if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe link and that like button down below that way this video makes its way around the internet lots more people get to watch it and then you know hey you got more friends that you can talk to in the comments all right that'll do it for me thanks for watching see you next time